Hello everyone, today we're going to continue our coverage of Fig. There's been a couple of interesting developments lately, so let's talk about them. First off, the campaign for the game Consortium ended last week, and it was the most important Fig campaign of our day. I call it that because it answers a very important question. Which has a better chance of success? A game that launches on Kickstarter, or Fig? And the answer is Fig! Hey, that was easy! Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you guys next time. Nah, just kidding, it's never that simple. Especially with Fig. The reason Consortium was such a good litmus test is because it's the first campaign that's visited both Kickstarter and Fig. They launched a Kickstarter campaign earlier this year, but unfortunately they failed. After the campaign ended, they announced that they would try again on Fig. Now Kickstarter is the king of crowdfunding, I don't think anyone's going to argue with that. But I'm sure I wasn't the only one wondering during the Psychonauts 2 campaign, what would have happened if it launched on Kickstarter instead? So I took a lot of interest in Consortium because it could help us answer that. Now before we go any further, I know it's not a perfect test. Kickstarter itself gives you a good PR boost, so maybe their attempt on Kickstarter helped them out in the long run, or maybe it didn't. I know it's not a clean test, but it's the closest we're ever going to get without entering some alternate universe. So what happened when they went on Fig? Well, when it comes to reward backers, they only made about two-thirds of what they made on Kickstarter. So that does seem to confirm what a lot of us already suspected. People are still avoiding Fig. I don't know if it's a trust issue or a convenience issue, I don't know. But they are losing out on backers. On the plus side though, investors picked up the slack. So once again, we have a fig campaign saved by its investors. And just as a reminder, Kickstarter does not allow investment at all. But money is money, so you would think that everything worked out in the end. If investors made the game possible, then that's great, we still get a game. And more importantly, it appears that a game that would fail on Kickstarter can succeed on fig. So all that sounds great, but before you get carried away, I think there might be a hidden danger with fig that's starting to rear its ugly head now. It leads directly into our second topic, and it's about a Polygon article. It says that four months after the Psychonauts 2 campaign, they are still waiting for the SEC to approve their offering before they could touch those non-accredited investors. Now even going back to my last video, we knew that there was going to be some delay before the SEC approves them. Regardless of what happens there, the current funding total still does not reflect the amount they'll actually receive on January 12th when the campaign ends, because they still need to wait for SEC approval before they could even touch those unaccredited investors. Then, once the SEC does give them the green light, they have to wait for however much of that money actually comes back. But I don't think anyone expected it to be five months! This is a huge problem because timing is everything on crowdfunding projects. Remember, those investment pledges were completely non-binding. How do you know those people still want to make the pledge? I'm no psychologist, but after so many months and after the hype for Psychonauts 2 has already worn off, I would imagine it's probably going to be pretty hard to get all those people to write you a check now. So yeah, like I said in the last video, I don't think that figure they ended with is accurate at all. Now as far as the delay with the SEC goes, I could see how some of you see no problem with this. Equity crowdfunding is a brand new thing. It sucks that they have to wait and I guess it's going to hurt their bottom line, but that's just how it works, right? Well here's what's going to blow your mind. That is not how these equity crowdfunding laws were supposed to work. Fig chose to have this delay. In order to explain, we're going to have to talk law. And I know that could get boring as hell, so to ease the pain, I'm going to put some kittens in the corner, okay? Alright, so this new equity crowdfunding thing, it's all part of the Jobs Act. The act isn't just about crowdfunding, it's actually like five different things in one. It's split up into five parts called titles, and only one of them is crowdfunding. That's Title Three, the one with the funny acronym. And I swear to you, I can remember off the top of my head. It's the Capital Raising Online While Deterring Fraud and Unethical Non-Disclosure Act. I swear I wasn't looking at anything that was just burned into my memory. Now in the last video, I did make one error. I assumed that Fig was going to use that Crowdfund Act, which is Title 3, but instead they chose to use Title 4. That's important because it's the root of their delay in collecting those funds right now. Title 3 authorizes the use of funding portals, which are basically crowdfunding websites that you register with the SEC. This is obviously what the legislators intended a company like Fig to use. And there's no delay to it, you just register the site, you follow the rules, and so then you're good to go. You don't have to wait for the SEC to approve each campaign. Title 4 is what Fig is using, and it was intended for small business startups. So you see, what they're doing is that they're registering each game as its own shell company. So literally, a game like Psychonauts actually exists on paper as a fictional company. And a business raising cash under Title 4 needs to get approved by the SEC before it could touch non-accredited investor cash. So why did they decide to use Title 4 if it has a delay? Why not use Title 3, you know, the one that's actually named the Crowdfund Act? Gee, I don't know. God, what could it possibly be? I, I, I can't imagine what it could be. Yeah, it's actually nothing but greed. I should have known. Title 3 only allows you to raise up to 1 million from non-accredited investors. Title 4 allows you to raise up to 50 million from non-accredited investors. And yes, that was Fig's choice to make. 
Justin Bailey, the CEO of FIG, said it in their Reddit AMA. And I don't see why they think it's necessary. Aside from Psychonauts 2, no FIG campaign has raised close to a million in investments. So is it worth a delay in the possibility of your investors dropping out? And as we've seen in every FIG campaign, they're carried on the backs of their investors. When investors drop out, that's a big deal. Each one of them is worth many times what a regular rewards based backer contributes. If enough investors disappear, it's possible they won't meet their goal like they said they did. And I would imagine that creates a very strange predicament. If it in fact didn't reach its goal, do you still make the game? If they just say it doesn't matter at that point, then what was the point of setting a goal in the first place? How is this crowdfunding? And these FIG campaigns, they are not high soaring success stories. They've only made just small percentages over their goal. Consortium was only 16% over, it didn't even make it into the stretch goals. So again, I have to ask, why go for the delay? Why compromise yourself like that? It's very short-sighted and incredibly risky. Now please allow me a moment to raise my shield, because I always think that there's going to be that one guy in the comment who says, You're a dick, you just don't like Consortium, you just want to see this project fail. Oh yeah, genius, then why did I back it on Kickstarter? And there's no way I could have known back then that it was going to be on FIG. They announced it after the campaign had already run its course. I think the game has some pretty cool ideas, and I hope they succeed. But I'm just not willing to back them on FIG. I'm sorry, I just think it's too risky. And if the project fails because of FIG's dumb idea, then we're shit out of luck. So you see, that's the problem I have with FIG. We don't even know when a project succeeded. That first question I asked was a loaded one. I asked which has a better chance of success, but how do we define success? The way that I see it, most crowdfunding campaigns have two levels of success. The first is successful funding, and the second is successful delivery. So you really have to be careful when you hear a creator say that their project was successful. Have they delivered yet? Now the problem with FIG is that it squeezes in another tier of success in there. They don't just have to successfully meet the goal, they have to successfully collect the money many months later. In my last video, which was about 5 months ago, I asked what should have been a very simple question. So now after all that, we get back to the original question. Did Psychonauts 2 actually reach its goal? The only answer I could come up with is who the hell knows? I don't even think Fig knows. And we might not have a clear answer once the campaign is over either. And guess what? Five months later, we still don't know. Why does crowdfunding have to be this complicated? Is this even crowdfunding? I'm going to warn you here. I'm going to sound like a dork, but I think this is important. This is how I feel. I feel that crowdfunding is a sacred institution. It is the democratization of product development. Ever since the Industrial Revolution, people like you and me have never had direct access to a product creator. Before crowdfunding, it was corporations and investors who were in control over whether a product gets mass-produced or not. Now it's in our hands. We vote with our dollars before the product even exists. And Fig takes that concept and ruins it. That is not how much money the project got when the campaign ended. We still don't know if they'll ever get that money. The numbers are bullshit. And so we continue waiting. Who knows how long it's going to take. But, like all things Fig, I'm eager to find out, and I'll let you guys know. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.